This fraternity is very special to me. The camaraderie is all there. Uh, the brotherhood's all there. A year after the killings on King's Road, the Sigma Chi fraternity brothers at the University of Idaho are sharing their memories about Ethan Chapin. The four students we talked to are from Eagle, Meridian, and Grangeville, Idaho. Our Maggie O'Mara went to the Sigma Chi house and heard about their love for Ethan and how they're trying to heal together. Here at the Sigma Chi house at the University of Idaho, memories of Ethan Chapin are everywhere. I have never met someone who's so like universally loved. Everyone liked him. He was just like the happiest person to be around. Everyone wanted to be around him. Losing Ethan in such a tragic way has impacted each of these students. The feelings and the emotions are still fresh. Right after that happened, I mean, it was, it was a madhouse up in Moscow. Uh, there's news people everywhere, and I don't know, it was just no one knew what was going on, really, because stuff like that doesn't really happen in a town like this. But I think as a house, we all banded together. It was hard because a lot of people went home. I felt way better when I was up here with my brothers rather than being at home. I needed to be around these guys talking about what I was feeling, talking about E, maybe we want to talk about memories of the year. All of us knew that no one was going to look down on them for sharing their emotions or, you know, anything like that. How we handled that as a fraternity, it wasn't one person handling the situation. We handled it as a brotherhood, and I think that really helped us uh, get through. They each shared happy memories of Ethan. He's the coolest guy you'll ever meet. That's, that's about it right there. He was a really big, funny, happy guy. When someone would walk in the room, like not just me, anybody, um, he would welcome you into the room. He was always very kind in everything that he did. He always would call me Gussy Gus in his little raspy voice. You know, emotionally, always there for people. One of my favorite memories with him was my apartment flooded one night after a big party because there was all sorts of plumbing problems with it. It's an old house. Went over to Xana's and I was hanging out with the two of them and we just talked for like hours and hours. And Xana made us grilled cheese sandwiches and Ethan and I are just sitting there talking. So that's one of like my my most like cherished memories with him. You know, like I just, I think back to that night a lot and I try to focus on nights like that rather than the sad ones when it comes to E. The brothers lost Ethan's girlfriend, Zana Kernodal, that terrible night too. Him and Zana were just like the most perfect couple you could imagine. That's just how she was. Like she was just able to come over here and hang out with all the dudes and it was like, oh, hey, what's up, Zana? He said that Ethan was like the most universally loved person on campus. I think Zana was right up there with Ethan. Like, I, everyone loved Zana, everyone loved Ethan. Both of them were just flourishing, flourishing for sure. Hunter Chapin, Ethan's brother, is also a member of this house. It was kind of tough because it was a subject that he didn't want to talk about for a while. Just kind of letting him know that we are there if he ever does want to talk. Just kind of knowing that that's open for him if he ever does need a release to, to let his emotions out to us. When we were there, the first Sigma Chi Ethan Chapin Memorial Scholarship was awarded to Hunter. Chapin family was there, his mom, his dad, his sister, Maisie. And there was a standing ovation. I think it obviously means a lot um, going to Hunter. You know, we're talking all about E right now, but Hunter's right there with him. You know, like they're, they're very, very similar people, especially with what Hunter's going through, obviously. And then the way he's come out on the other end, like the person he is now. Like, personally, I don't think I could be, th not okay, the word isn't okay, that but strong. be, yeah, that strong um, in a situation like that. Like, if I were to lose one of my brothers, for Hunter to go through all that and then come out on the other end, you know, as strong and as great of a man as he is now, like, that exemplifies everything Ethan did um, in the past, and I think it's 100% Hunter's deserving of it. I think it means a lot that uh, Sigma Chi took the, the bull by the horns and made this scholarship a thing and the world uh, raised $125,000 for the scholarship, which is absolutely insane. Um, and that's $5,000 to a Sigma Chi every single year, which is incredible. And I don't think there's a better way to honor Ethan than to just help some more people, help more people Continue go to college. E exactly. Yeah. He did, he gave his whole life. So let's keep on giving in the name of Ethan. The scholarship award plaque 
and photos of Ethan will live on here at Sigma Chi forever. We all are wearing these bracelets. I don't know if I can't see if Kyle. Yeah, we, we all are. I've got words on mine. Anymore, yeah, mine's all faded. We got these still. at his memorial last year, and they said, live life like Ethan on them. And I haven't taken mine off since. And every morning when I look at my wrist and I see this, I just know I should live life like Ethan that day. So and I think that the, the stories of Ethan are going to just go from generation to generation, from pledge class to pledge class. And I think that's amazing that his story will be shared with everyone, and everyone can hopefully live life like Ethan. Over the last few nights, Maggie has spoken with the University of Idaho about healing for mm -hmm. the students and staff. She spoke to the Gonzalez family about Kaylee and Maddie, mm -hmm. and she sat down with the Chapin family as well. And to watch all of those stories and to see the extended interviews and more content on this one year anniversary, which is this week, you can go to KTVB.com. We are also airing a half hour long special honoring the victims coming up this Friday at 7 p.m. on KTVB.